Hello all, welcome to part 40 of TestNG training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to execute tests in parallel by specifying parallel attribute in data provider method. So let's get started. So here we are going to execute the test in parallel by specifying this attribute known as parallel attribute in which method? In the method which is specified with at the rate data provider annotation, okay? With the help of this data provider method, we are going to execute the test in parallel in data-driven testing, okay? So anyhow, this is a syntax case, okay? So you already know that from the previous sessions, we are uh, I, I was explaining all about the data providers, okay? And how the data provider will supply the data to the test methods, right? So multiple sets of data can be passed from the data provider to the test method and all the tests will be executed in a sequential manner by default, okay? But if you provide this parallel is equal to true, parallel attribute which have, which is by assigning some value like true to this data provider, all the tests, okay, all the data will be supplied to the test method at the same time and the test will be executed in a parallel way, guys, okay? We'll see that practically. So you'll understand more when I explain you or demonstrate this particular example to you in a practical way. So here is some previous project we have worked on where we have this test method, guys. Okay, this test method is written in Selenium. And here we are passing the email address and password to this test method from this data provider method. Okay, we already connected the test method and data provider method and the data provider method has three sets of data here. First set of data, second set of data, email and password, third set of email and password. That means this particular test will be executed how many times? Three times. Okay, three times, but in parallel way or sequential way? In sequential way, by default, it will be sequential way. Run this, you will see that all the tests will run. This particular same test will run three times, but in a sequential manner, test after the another test. Once one test is completed, the next test will start like that. You see, only one browser will launch. You can observe that only one Chrome browser will launch and the one test will be completed, guys. After that, one test is completed and tested completely, the next test will start. First test is completed. Next test will start, sequential manner, guys. It's not parallel. Second test is starting. It's taking time, just press enter, guys, okay? This is a demo application. In real time, you should not be doing that, but uh, just for demo application, okay? Three, third test. You see, all this test got executed in a sequential manner, test after the another test. As you can see, the results also verify login test has been, this particular test method has been executed three times because data provider method is supplying the uh, three sets of data, one after the another, and test method got executed sequential fashion. And what if I provide something like parallel attribute, parallel, and I'll assign a value like false here. It doesn't make any sense, guys, okay? Whether you provide this parallel is equal to false or whether you don't provide, same thing will happen. You see here, if I run this, again, the same test will be running in the sequential panel, sequential manner only because parallel attribute we have provided in the data provider method, but you have assigned false here. By default, if you provide or not provide, it will be false only. The test will be executed in a sequential order, one after another one, okay? First test got executed, then second test will be executed. Then third test will be executed. You see sequential fashion, guys, nothing much. All the three tests got executed in a sequential fashion. There is no difference in providing that attribute actually by specifying it as false. But what if I provide true? All the three tests will be executed in parallel fashion now. You see that three browsers should launch for us. Run this. Now, in the data provider, I provided the parallel attribute as true. You see, three browsers will launch. Chrome browser, Chrome driver was started, Chrome driver was started, Chrome driver was started, three tests. You can see that three tests are running, guys. Okay, one, two, three tests, okay? Okay, the, uh, it is not so easy, guys. A parallel execution sometimes fails, okay, you see? Uh, not always it will pass. The thread problem will be there, that's okay. Uh, what is the problem you see? Element not interactable exception, okay? I just, uh, let let me run it again, guys. Let me run it again and to see whether it is working or not again. So I'll not disturb the test. This time only one test got passed, okay? Remaining two tests got failed. Maybe it, uh, element interaction happened, okay? Another exception came when three browsers got open. Let's see whether it will work or not, okay? One, two, three. How many tests will run? Let's see in parallel execution. One test is running for now. Second test is running. Three tests got passed, guys, okay? We should not be disturbing that, okay? When you disturb that, it is not working, okay? Anyhow, the three tests got executed in a parallel fashion. So this is what is a parallel attribute, guys. If you mention this parallel attribute in the data provider annotated method, 
okay in the data provider annotation inside the circular brackets if you provide this parallel attribute with the value as true all the three tests will be executed in a parallel fashion but this approach will fail when you have more sets of data three sets of data my system can manage performance of my system will uh, will be okay okay uh, it uh, like uh, is enough the, uh, whatever the performance or capability of my machine is enough for executing three tests in a parallel fashion but what if you have here 20 sets of data for example same sets of data i'll put a comma here and i'll copy this copy the same data guys okay uh, uh, three sets of data i copied now i'll copy six sets of data i'll put a comma here and copy six sets of data okay what's the problem first set of data second set of data if i remove this it's not going first set of data comma second set of data comma 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 here some extra thing came here i'll close it now here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve sets of data a bit of performance okay maybe my system may or may not support this much amount of data guys that's a problem right so run this all 12 browsers will launch at the same time that's a problem we'll see 12 browsers launching at the same time 12 chrome drivers you'll see you see chrome driver chrome driver chrome driver 12 sets of data okay so a lot of browsers will be opening at the same time we don't know whether the my performance of my system will support this kind of my network will support this much of thing or not i don't know see 12 browsers will be opening up and you see the network loading and all may or may not work we don't know okay this approach may or may not work and this is a problem guys this is a problem if you provide parallel is equal to true in uh, you see uh, it's working somewhere I don't know like uh, whether it will pass or fail because my system may or may not be able to handle so much of uh, you see the slowness you can see the slowness right how slow it is uh, clicking on the login button and all okay we'll we'll try that we'll try our level best and to see whether it is supporting or not for three tests it was supporting but uh, for 12 tests my system became a bit slow what if imagine if i provide 100 100 sets of data whether 100 browsers can open in my bra in my machine and my machine can handle that absolutely not guys okay that's a problem so this is where one more concept comes into picture where we have to change the thread count okay at a time how many browsers should launch even though the data provider an attribute is mentioned parallel is equal to true you see it is not running guys okay just press enter here otherwise it will not move forward okay even there is a problem with this application also I have to keep on pressing enter it's working anyhow but uh, you see uh, 12 test got somehow it has managed but it was slow guys okay i have to admit that it is kind of slow uh, parallel execution happened but it was slow guys okay what if there are 100 sets of data it will... so we have to even though you have multiple sets of data i want at a time only two sets of data to be running every time okay i want to limit the number of uh, tests that need to be executed parallel execution should be there but i want to limit i, I don't want all the 12 sets of data to be uh, executed at the same time rather i want three or two sets of data to be executed at a time how to do that that i'm going to explain in the next session okay so after this session i'm going to take another session for you okay we have one uh, one more attribute uh, that we have to specify in the test change xml file okay we cannot provide that attribute in the data provider method when you have this kind of situation where we have 12 sets of data or 100 sets of data and still you want to execute the test in parallel way but only two or three tests at the, at the time, if you want to control the amount of parallel tests that need to be executed, then we have to create a text and XML file in that we have to provide one attribute guys. That attribute I'll cover in the next session, okay? This session is all about uh, parallel attribute, how to provide the parallel attribute in uh, data provider and uh, how the parallel attribute will uh, execute the test uh, in parallel by providing, mentioning that as parallel is called true in the data provider annotation method. And uh, what is the disadvantage of using that? It doesn't have any control of uh, uh, limiting the number of tests that need to be run parallel. If you have 100 sets of data, 100 tests will run parallelly. That is a problem with this parallel attribute by specifying the data provider method. That problem we are going to solve in the next session. So that's all for this session, guys. In the next session, as I mentioned, I'm going to cover another topic on test engine. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.